Well, I think you do appreciate everything God's given you after you have an experience like that. Well, we've had some other people who have called in and said or Skyped in or emailed in to talk about what God has done in their lives because he's at work. God's busy. He's out there and he's touching people's lives just like he touched Matt Griggs' life. This is Margie. She lives in Kingman, Arizona. She wasn't able to eat much due to food allergies. On December the 27th, she was watching this program and she heard you, Gordon, give this word of knowledge, someone who's dealing with chronic allergies. Margie said she knew. We hear people say that all the time. She knew the word was for her. So by faith, she started eating foods that once caused her problems. She is happy to report she no longer suffers from any food allergies. Wow, and that's a blessing. you know and you know her. That's, yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's what the definition of faith is. Here's 69-year-old Joshua from North Carolina. He had excessive phlegm in his throat when he was just a child, so he's 69. The chronic issue caused constant choking and coughing, so this is lifelong. Terry said, someone else, you have chronic, and I mean chronic issues with your sinuses. Constant draining, it affects your voice, your swallowing. God is healing that condition for you. It's just going to dry up. You're not going to have the problem anymore. Well. Here, Joshua knew in his knower. He knew the word was for him, and he could feel it. He wow. can now talk without clearing his throat and coughing, and he says he can't <laughs> stop saying hallelujah. Let today be the day where you can't stop saying hallelujah for what the Lord has done for you. Let's pray. Mm -hmm. Lord, we come to you. We come believing. We come just as little children, trusting in your unfailing love trusting in your word, trusting in what you have promised. Your promises are just incredible, that you forgive all our iniquities, you heal all our diseases. So we rely on that, we lean into that word, and my disease is part of all the diseases you heal. Stretch forth your hand to do miracles, Lord, for we ask it. In Jesus' name. Terry, so, God's yeah, there's someone else. You have an issue with your throat as well. It's a swallowing issue. It doesn't have anything to do with phlegm or allergies. I don't know if you've had an injury or what it is, but swallowing is, is um, not just difficult. It's actually painful, and it makes eating painful. God's healing that for you right now. Just put your hand on your neck. Receive what God's doing for you. Be made whole in Jesus' name. Well, someone else, you have excess saliva and... and um, you're, you heard that report about the, the phlegm and say, you say, please say that. It's primarily the glands on the uh, left side of your face and, and it's like your mouth gets flooded. God is healing that. He's restoring proper function to all your glands. In Jesus' name, be healed. Be set free from this and may it never return to you again. Yeah. You know, someone else, you have a stamina issue. Um, I don't know if you've been diagnosed with something, but I mean, you can hardly do anything and complete it without feeling like you've just spent everything you've got. You are being just reinvigorated right now with a fresh and a clean and a new anointing from the Lord. Lift up your hands and begin to thank Him and praise it. You'll, your hands are going to start to tingle. Just receive it in Jesus' name. Um, I keep getting these mouth, throat, throat issues. There's someone you've had cancer of the mouth, you've, you've recovered from that, you're clear of cancer, but the radiation has left lingering problems for you. In Jesus' name, God's able to heal all of it. Be restored now, be healed, amen and amen. If you've been healed, let us know, give us a call. 1-800-700-7000.